made many improvements to analytics in the recently released DHIS 2.29. Now we would like to share with you on-the-fly pivot table rendering and last available data value options. In DHIS 2.28 or older, if a user tried to make a pivot table with more than 200,000 cells, the DHIS2 pivot table app would crash. This was extremely inconvenient for users who needed to make large pivot tables. Now, in 2.29, pivot tables have progressive rendering. This means that if a large pivot table is made, instead of trying to load the whole thing at one time, DHIS2 will only load what the user is able to view in their web browser. Let's look at an example. Here in DHIS 2.29, we open the pivot table app and make a pivot table with all of the data elements from the ANC and delivery data element groups. We will next turn on the months for the last three years and finally select all of the facilities in the country. First, we see that DHIS2 makes an aggregated table summing up all of the organizational units together. But we want to see them each individually, so we will go to Layout and drag organizational units to the row dimension above periods. Next, we will receive a warning from DHIS2 that this is a large pivot table and could take a long time to load. Do you want to continue anyway? And we will select Continue. Now that this is loaded, we can actually see that DHIS2 is rendering the table as we scroll. Gone are the days of ah, snap, error. Of course, we can still download this data if we like as an Excel, CSV, or HTML. More options are available if you would also like the source details as well. Now, let's take a look at the last available data value options. We are first going to open a saved pivot table, both facilities HIV currently on care, current and last three months. What we see here are all of the health facilities in Bo Chiefdom and the count of the number of HIV patients currently on case for the current and last three months. We also see the total number of visits over these four months. Let's take a look at Barley MCHP. Notice that the total for these four months is 282 for Barley MCHP, but they have not reported yet any values for this month, May 2018. The last value that they reported was 95 in April. If we change the layout, and put periods in filter, we now see all of the months summed together and the only value we have is 282 for barley. We can also go ahead and turn off row totals as it is not useful for this pivot table anymore. Now, let's show the last available value. We go to options, aggregation type, last value. Now we see that 95 is displayed for barley. Remember that this is the value for April and the last value captured in DHIS2. If we now change the organizational unit to be looking at just Bo Chiefdom, we see that the last available values for all facilities is summed to 11,128. If we change the aggregation type again to last value, average in org unit hierarchy, the number changes to 45.6. This is the average of all last available values from all of the reporting facilities in Bo Chiefdom. This ends the screencast. Thank you for your time.